Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 31, and this is war number 11. One more war after this one, and the season is over. All right, looks like we're going up against an alliance. Hold on, let me move this over here. Just finished uh, uh, my stream. Um, MCLC Saviors. All right, so we're going to take a look at their defense. You can see nobody's even in here yet. Um, let's see here. All right, ooh. You don't usually see that, but I have a, a defender on path uh, three, that first node, and I don't always. Um, but we got a champion. As soon as I see him, automatically I am thinking Black Widow Clairvoyant. Um, that might be an option. Uh, we've got uh, Captain uh, Marvel movie version. Um, I like fighting Nick Fury against her in case some shenanigans happen. Then we've got Havoc, Strike Counter Fury, um, and I like Warlock. So I've just named three different champions, right? Uh, but we'll see because I, I might see what else we got here. Um, if I do bring Warlock, I might be able to take on that uh, uh, Domino there. But, oh, we've got hmm, Black Widow Deadly Origin. And I, uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, Spider-Man 2099 or um, Corvus can get a charge, maybe. All right, and we've got Colossus, so I'm bringing in uh, uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. So that's a, a done deal. Um, we've got Nimrod. Um, well, hmm. um, honestly, Claire could do that fight as well. Um, I kind of want to bring in uh, Claire and uh, Warlock at this point and uh, Spider-Man 2099. And I learned my lesson last war, Iron Man Infinity War. Very annoying. Um, that fight was, uh, I swiped back, it didn't swipe. Very, very annoying fight. Um, I'd probably take that with uh, Warlock, uh, if anybody. All right. Oh, well, we've got Null as the uh, boss. I don't think I've fought Null um, as a boss yet. So if I bring Spider-Man 2099, uh, unless somebody else has a, a better counter, uh, I may end up taking, taking him. We'll see. So right now, I'm thinking Black Widow Clairvoyant, Warlock and um, Spider Man 2099. Hmm. Yeah, that, I think that's what I'll bring in. That's going to be a pain, though. I just know it. But anyway, that's, that's what I'm going to do. All right. So we'll be back in a moment and you'll find out who I eventually bring in. So let's get to the fighting. All right. So we're back, and this is actually the final war of the season. You can see the champs that they have banned. Uh, I'm finding that those are pretty common uh, champions for them to ban. They don't know about Spider-Man yet. But anyway, uh, we didn't get a chance to do a boss fight for this final war, but it's the last war. We were pretty much locked into Platinum 4, uh, whether we won or lost we were gonna be in Platinum 4, all right? Uh, and by the time this video comes out, you guys already know that yes, that's what we got, Platinum 4. All right, first fight is the champion. Now, I remember fighting the champion in Act 6.2.6. This ain't him. He's a shadow of that champion. So I ain't scared of him, all right? Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant is actually good for both of the champions. Uh, but this one is more like his little brother. 
Now, the reason I say that is because the champion gains a lot when he's the final boss of a quest or, or what have you. So the fact that he's not the actual boss means he's not really that difficult at all to fight. So down he goes very, very easily. All right. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't worried about him uh, at all going in here. Next fight, Captain Marvel. And sometimes she can be tricky. Uh, she can be annoying at times when she doesn't want to fire her special. And when she gets, she has a very aggressive style, similar to Venom. And when you're trying to get her to evade or to fire her special, and she doesn't want to, you have to evade, 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 evade. And then sometimes she'll dash back and fire her special before you can recover. So I really hate fighting her because of that. All right. See how, see how I'm, I'm like, dash, dash, dash. You know, trying to get her to fire this special. Look at this. See how many? And finally she fired this special off. It's, it's just really annoying. Okay. There we go. Now she's doing it. And now she's indestructible. So now I'm like, okay, boom, nothing. <laughs> I was hoping that I could uh, get rid of that indestructible by, by knocking her down or something, uh, but no. All right, but we still got her down uh, without too much of a difficulty. I've fought her uh, in other instances and she's been way more annoying than that, especially in AQ. I still remember that map seven Oh my goodness, I hate fighting her. All right, but anyway, uh, we got her down there and I'm eyeing this Havoc. Now, Warlock is an awesome counter for Havoc. Now, if you saw my last war video, I died against this node. I don't wanna die again, okay? Not not trying to hear that. We got masochism. And uh, I hate masochism. I hate it with a passion. But one of the nice things is that I, when I'm fighting Havoc, I don't rely on my parry anyway. So the fact that masochism makes it even less reliable, not really a problem because I'm already used to um, basically not trying to parry stun havoc okay just you know push him push him push him and then bait out some specials and go from there okay there we go fire that special two going in do 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 doom boom almost got him almost got him and something that i saw and i was like whoa 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 i forgot about that did you see the shock damage I was taking? That that damage was ramping up real quick, but we didn't. Uh, the fight didn't last long enough because I was like, "Whoa, I'm about to lose my warlock if I don't take this guy down quick." So we got him down. I, uh, you know, I went to bed, came back, and I believe at this point, yeah, look at this. They're already done. Okay, now. I had actually peeked in and saw that they had gotten done. That's why I, I was not in a hurry to join uh, this war. It was the last war and folks just wanted to get it done. Uh, by the time I woke up, they were already done with that. And I was like, okay, let's uh, finish out my path and call it a day. Like I said, we're, we're locked into Platinum 4. So no boss fight but I can at least clear my path. You know, still don't want to die. Uh, still going to use these boosts, because why not? You know, this is the final war of the season, and I've got them, and I will be getting more. So may as well do it. All right, so of course, Colossus is a great option for uh, this node as a defender. He's actually a really good defender for this node. However, Clairvoyant is like the perfect counter for this. Okay, so he can't keep them armor ups uh, up and Claire just rips him apart. Look at this, tears him up. 
I don't think I have ever lost to Colossus with Clairvoyant. I don't think I have. She's just like the perfect counter. Now, not everybody has, you know, a Clairvoyant. And like I said, he that is a good option. When I went up against him with uh, Corvus, I barely got him. That's a Corvus trap. Don't do it. But I actually did win that fight. Barely. So now we got Nimrod. Now, I, I when I read the best defense, I keep thinking, all right, if they don't already evade, this is not going to give them an evade, right? And so far, I haven't really seen anyone evading on this node that doesn't normally evade. All right? But... You know, I was always wary of that. But if they do evade, it's going to make them even more. So I'm just taking this one pretty slow. I'd rather deal with his special two. I I can evade the special one partially. Don't ask me why I'm just getting hit in the face. It happens. Uh, I'm waiting for March uh, to get that new input system. That's all I can say. Um, but yeah, his special two... Uh, for me is much easier to evade. Finally, he decides to uh, fire it off. Okay, and now I can fire my special two because I wasn't sure if it was going to kill him and see it didn't. And I didn't want to push him to a special three and have it not kill him and then he can hit me with a special three. So I wanted to bait out that special two, which was easy to uh, evade. All right, so now this is the last fight uh, for me of the season. And you can see it's an Iron Man Infinity War. Now, if you watch my last war, I died to this one too with uh, Corvus. But this time I have Warlock. And for me, Warlock, without a doubt, is MVP for dealing with this node. Now, there may be some, especially with the high ground and all of that good stuff, uh, where it makes the fight more difficult with uh, Warlock, but he is just great for this node. You know, once I get his, um, his uh, infections up, they're not going to, I won't have to deal with that heal. So after that, it's just a matter of staying aggressive, chip, chip, chipping away at him until they're gone okay now a lot of times you see i was maxed out right and it's the last war so may as well a lot of times uh i will go for that advanced power boost because of the node and i want to get off at least one special two okay so you can see here in the beginning um what i try to do is i try to build up the uh infection and I actually made a slight mistake by attacking before his infections were up. That's why he healed a little bit. But advanced power boost, he's already down to 44 health. Okay? And I got to stay uh, vigilant on the attack so that I can keep those infections up. He's got two of them on him right now. Okay? And look at it. He's down. And at this point, he's going to start auto-blocking. So I started firing off my heavy attack. Okay? He's annoying. At this level here, just look at this. Um, but just keep parrying, you know, hit him when he's stunned, fire the heavy attack off, and we're good. Okay, so not a difficult fight when you got the right counter. And Warlock is the right counter. All right, so that is the last fight that I had to do for this particular war. Last war of the season. That was my last fight of the season. And I didn't die. So I'm happy about that. Unlike my previous war. All right. So uh, we're going to take a quick intermission. And we'll be back. And you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won the war. Final war of the season, and we won. It was a close war, but we pulled it off. And again, we were already locked into uh, Platinum 4. So didn't really matter, but we did get the win, so it was nice. So 
yeah, that was the final war of the season. I was surprised. I didn't know this was the final war until on uh, my live stream, someone mentioned it. And I was like, wait a minute, did I miscount? And that's when I went back and uh, redid the count. But I had already recorded the first part of a lot of those uh, wars. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.